Hey guys, and welcome to the video. So here today, this is going to be an updated version of a video that I did years ago, back when I had my crappier PC and my much crappier microphone. But every now and then I still get questions about this stuff. So I decided just to make an updated version that's also shorter. I'm not even gonna fire up my PS3. We're gonna take care of everything here on the PC. So we're gonna go over today how to use brute force save data in order to do various things things to your PS3 game saves. We're going to show you how to change the ownership so it will work on your system. I'm going to show you how to change the region of a game save and even how to insert cheats if there are any available for your particular game save. Now from this point forward, I'm going to assume a few things. One is that you watched my video that I did a couple of months ago showing you how to install Aldo's PS3 tools into your PC. It comes with a bunch of different tools and the two that we need here today are there, the brute force save data and the Param SFO editor. But you can find both of these as standalone programs somewhere online. They're everywhere. The brute force save data, the latest version is 4.7.5, but pretty much anything 4.6 or higher will work. And for the SFO editor, the latest one is version 3.0, but pretty much anything 2.7 or higher will work just fine. But if you installed that set of tools, you'll have them already. It's also assumed that you know your way around a PC and how to copy a game save out of your PS3 and get it onto your PC and then back into your PS3. It doesn't matter whether your system is modded or it's just regular. It doesn't matter what model of PS3 you have or what firmware it's on. This will work as long as you can copy your game save out of your system. So I'm assuming that you know how to do all that and that you have those two programs already installed in your PC. At this time, we need to do a one time setup with brute force save data. So go ahead and grab any game save you want from your PS3, bring it over to your desktop and let us begin. All right, so I went ahead and got a game save out of my PS3. Again, it doesn't matter which one, we're just gonna use it to set everything up. When you use this for the first time, you might see a window open up that says global settings with some numbers or whatever. Don't worry about that for now, just close it. And then another window might pop up saying, do you want to set your account ID or your user profile, whatever? Just hit no, because we're gonna set that up right now anyway. So once you've closed out of those windows and you're here at Brute Force, grab the game save from your PS3 and go ahead and drag it into the main window here of Brute Force. Now, once we've done that, and you can see this one is from Binary Domain, there's a couple things we have to do. Go and click Setup Profile, go to Configure Profiles, and click Param SFO for profile number one. Okay, now it should automatically open up to this backed up game save here. If not, point it to this one here. But since we put it in the window, it automatically opens up to it. Go ahead and select the Param SFO. Okay, and then you can name this whatever you want. It's just to identify your uh, account ID of your PS3. I just normally call this my PS3. And hit OK. Hit OK. And then up here, you will see it now says my PS3 and it has my account ID. Now let's go ahead and go to set up profile, go to edit global settings. All right. And you're going to see this here. This is what opened up at the beginning. Go into that backed up game save. And this is where you are going to need the Param SFO editor. Go to the Param SFO, open it up. OK, let's move it over. Let me minimize this window so you can see what we're doing. Hey, okay, what we're going to do here is go to this drop down window and go to Param's user ID one. And you'll see this number here. This is the number that you'll put here in user ID. So here, the only thing I need to do is change the last zero to a one. All right. And then you have console ID. Now, this is actually not your console ID. This is your user ID. So we're going to come to the Param SFO again go to um, Param's PSID and you will see this number here. Go ahead and highlight it. Let's copy it and we're going to paste it here. 
and that's it. So if you have a modded PS3 and your PS3, for example, gets banned, what gets banned is your console ID, not your user ID. That's why I'm showing it to you because this is not what gets banned. It's called console ID here, but I think they made an error. Again, it's just your user ID. Let's go ahead and hit close and that's it. Everything now has been set up. Again, this is a one-time deal. You don't have to do it again. So now since we've set everything up, I can go ahead, take this backed up game save. Let's delete it and let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, so next we're going to go ahead and click on refresh here and notice everything cleared out because we deleted that game save that was located here. It's not located there anymore, so it's cleared out. Now, here's a zip file that I downloaded from online somewhere that has a backed up game save. Let me go ahead and extract that. This is from Black Ops 2. It has a 100% completion on the veteran difficulty, but this has two issues. It's from someone else's PS3 and the region is different. This is the US version of the game, which is Blues 310 11, but the game I have in my system, I have a modded PS3, and that one is the European version, Bless 01717. So we're gonna have to change those two things, plus maybe add cheats if there are any out there. So let's go ahead and take the backup game save you wanna modify, drag it into the window, everyone will have to right click here and hit decrypt all files. Hit yes, and now it's been decrypted. At this point, we can begin to do whatever it is you need to do to this particular game save. Oh, and there is one thing I forgot, guys, before you decrypt the game save. If you look here under copy protected and it says that it's locked or that it, it is copy protected before you decrypt it, just right click on it and hit remove copy protection. After you've done that, then go ahead and decrypt it. Once it's been decrypted, you can see here under copy protected, it'll say decrypted like it does now. And then you can go ahead and do whatever it is you have to do to it. On this one, we need to change the ownership because it is not mine. If you look under profile, this number here is someone else's account ID up here. This one is mine and you can see it's different. So if you need to change ownership, once you've decrypted the file, go to update account, hit update account ID and copy params. Then here hit yes. And you will notice now it has your profile here with your account ID, which is what we want. Now, if you need to change the region or the title ID, let's go ahead and take care of that. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and change the region or the title ID of the game if you need to. While it's still decrypted, go ahead and right click, select change title ID region. And then here you would put the correct title ID. Now, I told you the one in my system is bless 01717 and then hit OK. Now, watch what happens when you hit OK here. You see this? It made a perfect copy of the game save we were messing with up here. It made a copy of it, but now the game save has the new name of the correct title ID and of the region. You can see here now the title ID has changed here as well. Here on the desktop, it made a perfect copy. It took all of the files from the Blues 31011 and it copied them in here along with whatever it is that we've done to the game save. The only thing that changed is the title of the folder and the param sfo inside of this folder has changed to the region that we wanted so that's it we are going to just keep working with this one here with the bless 01717 this only happens when you change the region of the game save so technically since this is a perfect copy with the new updated information we really don't need this blues 31011 anymore you can go ahead and delete it it's not 
not necessary, but it just makes everything easier and keeps everything nice and organized. Once we've deleted it, come up here, click refresh, and now we're left with this copy. And you can see here, since we changed the ownership of that Blues 310, that carried over here as well. So it has the correct uh, information here, which is of my PS3. We've changed the region. Let's go ahead now and check to see if there are any cheats and we can add cheats to this game save. Okay, so now at this point, once your game file is, or your game save is still decrypted to add cheats, just right click, go to apply cheats. And this game doesn't have cheats for uh, its save, unfortunately, but if you did have cheats, you would see them here. And there's quite a lot of games that do. Anyway, you would see all the cheats here. You could just click on the box to activate whatever cheats you want click apply, then hit close, and your game save would have those cheats. Now at this point, once you're done doing everything you have to do with your particular game save, everyone here will then need to right click, hit encrypt all files, hit yes, and then that's it. Your game save is ready to go back into your PS3. So you can take this game save here, stick it back onto your USB and put it into your system. Just remember guys that you don't need to change the region or change ownership if you already own the game save. If all you wanna do is just add cheats, you would come here, decrypt the file, add cheats and encrypt it again. If you did change the ownership of it, though, I would suggest after you encrypt the file, come here and select rebuild with current profile full. This will just ensure again that this information of your PS3 gets embedded into this game save. But if you already own the save once you've encrypted it, then you don't have to do this step. It's not necessary. And by the way, when it comes to cheats, go to wherever Brute Force is located. There should be a folder called Cheats with a capital C. Go in there and this is where all the PS3 cheat files are are located. I'll go ahead and I will copy all of this and put it into a zip file so you can paste it. This is the most current one that was updated like a few years ago. And then you could just put it here if you don't have it already. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you change ownership of your game save, change the region and add cheats. Again, you may not have to do all those things. Maybe you just wanna add cheats and that's fine. But just in case you do need to change ownership and or the region, well, now you know how to do that too. And that is gonna do it for this video, guys. You know I appreciate you watching as always. If you found anything here helpful, useful, informative, or you just wanna throw some love or appreciation towards the channel or some support, the best way to do any of that stuff is just to hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, be safe, but have fun, and we will see you on the next one.